got the grind and mentality. I grind for the feeling. I'm a real ass nigga. These niggas, they counterfeit it. Stay true to my religion. They thinking that I'm a Christian. Mama thinking I'm a villain, but I'm expressing my feelings. Yo, 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 welcome back to the Rich Mentality Podcast. Appreciate y'all tuning back in, man. It's always good to see y'all. Always good to hear from y'all, man. So definitely thank y'all for tuning back in, man. But what's good? Yo, check it out, man. TikTok has definitely been doing this thing. And I just want to let y'all know, man. I appreciate y'all if y'all been tuning in. Appreciate y'all for, you know, sharing the videos, tuning in. I got to let y'all know, man. We definitely at 63,000, uh, 63.3 thousand, somewhere in those lines. But once again, I want to let y'all know, man. I appreciate y'all sincerely. So other than that, man, y'all know the drill, man. Y'all drop any new gems if y'all have them. Drop any books if y'all have them. Let anybody know some way that they can get some money, man. But what's good? So check this out, y'all. We definitely been, we definitely been moving up on the charts, and we're just trying to stay consistent, man. But I will let y'all know, man. I want to start this whole podcast off by saying this particular quote, and most won't understand, some may will, but I want to let y'all know. So Genesis chapter one, verse twenty-six, it states, "Then God said, let them, let us make man in our image, in our likeness." I'm gonna say that one more time. Then God said. In Genesis chapter first, chapter one, verse twenty-six, he said, "Let then God said, let us make man in our image, in our likeness." Can y'all guess what that means, right? Like, do you understand what it means by God making you in His likeness? Now, here's the thing: I don't want to come off too spiritual. I don't want to come off as if you know this is a, a, a theocratic, you know, podcast, but because it, it, it's not. But the thing is. A lot of things in the Bible stem from business. Well, a lot of things from business stem from the Bible. A lot of things that stem from anything that's been created, it started from the Bible. And I want to let you know about how great you are by letting you know that we was created in God's image, God's image from the jump. You know what I'm saying? From day one. So with that being said, he said, let us make man in our image, in our likeness, right? Understand your power. Understand how great you are. Understand where you originated from. Understand who you are made from. You got to understand, God has a vision for your life, and that's and that's the main reason of letting me letting you guys know exactly why you was created. You know what was created and what He was thinking when He created you. God's vision. See, He has a vision for your life. And in this podcast, I want to, you know, go down the line of just all the different things of what it means for God to have a vision for your life, you to have a vision for your life. But before I even get to that, I just want to let you know how great you are. I want to I want to let you know that if you're watching this podcast right now, you got greatness inside you. Right. You have a great personality. You have a great gift. You have so many. You have great character. You have so many great, you know, characteristics and traits and uh, attributes that's gonna push you to the next level. But you gotta realize first that you was made in the likeness of God. So I want to move forward, but stand on the same topic, right? So check this out, y'all. Stay with me. Stay with me. We were made in the image of God, right? So we have similar abilities. I'm gonna say that one more time. We was made in the image of God, so we have similar ability so what kind of what kind of abilities we got compared to god you know check it out number one we're incomparable but we're exactly the same i know it probably sounds contradictive but actually it's not so with that being said he's a big god we're a little god with that being said we all are gods because we're made in his image but we're not exactly god if that makes sense so check this out we have the ability to speak things into existence so in the beginning there was the word and the word was with god right and then he go on to create the heavens and the earth and you know and and separate the expansions and create land and all these different things he spoke those things and we have that same ability we have the same ability to speak gifts in our lives we have the same ability to speak curses in our lives so it really depends on us Right. It, it depends on whatever we decide to do with our lives. We de- it, it depends on whatever we decide to put ourselves around. It depends on whatever we tell ourselves in the mirror. Right. So check this out. We have the ability to create. Well, what you mean? I have the ability to create, Reno. You know? Exactly what I mean. If you want to write a book, guess what? You can write a book and you can create. 
that's the ability to create if you want to create another uh, in, uh invent and in, another invention and create the you know uh a, mo a car model that don't even use gas or do, uh, don't even use electricity whatever the case is you have that ability right he has the ability to create he has the ability have you ever seen the the, the earth or have you ever seen the sky and just looked at it and was like yo god a true painter he's a true artist outside of even outside of even painting he's a true artist and that's what i'm saying we have the ability to make art we have the ability to create and we shouldn't take it lightly we shouldn't take it lightly because these are the things and the, the characteristics that we gain from god these are the things that we've gained you know from the alpha and the omega it however you want to call it but what i'm saying is god has a vision and the way he works through his vision is allowing you to find yourself through your gift and it, and it allows you to create it allows you to speak things into existence but most importantly it allows you to realize that you was made in the image and in the likeness of god y'all got y'all gotta really follow me this is a deep thing because once you realize who you are which most people don't you can create beyond measures measures you you can build beyond measures you can go to the next level but you got to first realize who you are and this is why i say you got to first realize god realize god's vision for your life all right y'all check this out number three man once you realize god's vision for your life you're gonna have dominion you're gonna have dominion on earth what do you mean have dominion on earth well what i mean by having dominion on earth whatever industry you in whatever you decide to do whether it's books whether it's cooking whether it's you know comedy whether it's rapping music whatever the case is if god is behind it and if that's the vision that he has for your life you're gonna have dominion why because he's great at anything and everything he does so if you are a representative of god then you have no choice but to be successful god's vision if you are a representative and if you are an advocate of God, right, you don't got to be saved. You don't got to be holy, fire, sanctified. Steve Harvey tell you right now, I am a, I am a terrible Christian. I am a terrible Christian. But once you realize the laws that come along with, you know, the kingdom, once you start realizing, you know, your, your, your true power, and once you most importantly discover your gift, you have a reason of being. Once you discover your gift and once you discover, discover the things that you do, once you discover the things that you're good at, once you discover the thing that makes you fruitful, you become great and you realize your purpose. And most people are living with no purpose. They're lost. They're sick. They're mentally stuck. They're mentally unstable. They don't know what to do. They follow the next person. And Jesus had this quote. He said, if the blind leads the blind, they both going to fall in the ditch. If the blind leads the blind, they both going to fall in the ditch. Meaning that how can I lead you if I don't know where I'm going? How can I lead you if I'm blindfolded? Right? And you blindfolded. I'm going to lead us both in the ditch. We're going to crash. Right. So what I'm saying is, is that anything that God put his touch on, anything that he has uh, anything to do with is going to prosper and you're going to have dominion on earth. Right. So another thing I want to let y'all know, you are special. When you operate in God's vision, you become a special person. So we was all we was already special. Let, let me make that clear. It doesn't, you know, you don't just come become special overnight or whatever. We was all special when we was born. Why? Because it was over 500,000 sperm cells that you beat. Out of 500,000, can you just imagine 500,000 inside of a room? Can you just imagine 500,000 that's just sitting down somewhere, just, you know, just whatever. Walk, imagine walking in a room full of 500,000. You probably can't even go in the room. I'm just going to be real. You can't even go in the room. So what I'm saying is, is that. Out of 500,000 sperm cells, you was chosen. Out of 500,000 sperm cells, you made it. So don't that just make sense to you to say, well, dang, I'm chosen. I'm special. I'm chosen. I'm special. And I have a purpose for my life. But the problem is most people don't realize what their purpose is. The problem is most people don't even believe in their purpose. Most people don't even believe that they have something great to do. Most people think that they just they just here. So my so my thing is, is that you got to first realize that 
I'm special for I was special from the jump. I got a purpose. I, I'm meant to I'm meant to be here. Right? Most people don't even think that they're meant to be here. They just out here living. So check this out. If you was born, you know, with five hundred thousand, uh through five hundred thousand sperm cells, don't you think that you have a special meaning? You have a special ability, you have a special gift, you have something that you can do that no one else can do. But only you You got something that you can do That no one else can do But only you Right So once you realize that You un- you, you begin to fall into God's plan Or God's vision for your life So, let's, so let, 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 let's move forward I want y'all to understand the difference between Your vision and God's vision Because it's a big difference See your vision It benefits you yeah, your, your vision benefits you and, and it benefits you only Even if, you know, you say, you know what I want to take this money this money Or whatever, you know, rewards that I receive from this And I want to, you know, help someone else I, I get that But what I'm saying is your vision as far as uh, Your gift and the things that you're giving outside, outside of the rewards that you may earn for yourself But the thing that you do So for instance Your vision could possibly just be your vision could possibly just be I'm going to just use an example Hypothetically Y'all don't eat me up in these comments But Just playing football Right That that could have been your vision Just only you You benefited by You know Being able to buy yourself a house uh, Being able to buy yourself a car Being able to You know Buy yourself The things that you need to do Or The things that you need to survive Or live Right But say That that was your vision God wanted you to be, he called you to be a motivational speaker. Let's just say that, hypothetically speaking, you know what I'm saying? Shout out, shout out to Trent Shelton. But God called you to be a speaker or a motivational speaker, however you want to call it. And now you're able to impact the lives of others through your story or impact the lives of others through your kind words, you know, wisdom, words of wisdom and things that pour into people instead of uh take from people right you, you you're able to build these people up guess what that's a vision of god so your vision was to play football you had it all figured out i'm gonna play football i'm a, you know i'm gonna win i'm gonna win the, uh what you call it man you win the uh super bowl you won the Super Bowl. I haven't been watching football, you know, late, lately like that. I did watch the I, I did watch the Super Bowl. I will say that. But check it out. So you know, you got dreams of winning the Super Bowl. You got dreams of you know doing your thing as a, a, a football player. And, you know, you hanging out with all the top celebrities because you're a football player. You're an NFL player. You are a celebrity, right? But this is your vision. Your vision is not doing nothing but benefiting who yourself. But guess what? A vision for God. A vision from God benefits others. A vision from God helps others, right? It puts others in a in a better position, right? It it, it it improves humanity. It improves the people who watch you. It improves the people who you come around, right? How can you improve anyone by just running the football, catching the football? You only helping yourself, right? Now again, this doesn't you know count what you do with the rewards or the incentives you get for yourself. Outside of that, I'm just saying the actual act, the actual purpose. When you get down to the nitty gritty and start thinking about the purpose, what am I purpose doing to help someone? What am I purpose doing to add value to someone? Or, or is it just adding value to me, right? Now check this out. God's vision is other centered. Your vision is self centered. So your vision revolves only around you. Everything revolves only around you when it when it comes to your vision. But when it comes to a vision of God that he has for your life, right? It revolves around other people. So it, it says that in the scripture it says the wealth of the uh it says that a wealthy man is a man who serves all. It says that a wealthy man is a man who serves all, which means the person who get all the wealth, the person who get all the money is the person who solves problems. It's the person who's able to help other people. It's the person who's able to serve other individuals. Understand what I'm saying? In order to become wealthy, you have to serve other people. When you're talking about getting wealthy, right? Think about it. McDonald's, they're serving what? Cheeseburgers, double cheeseburgers, whatever. Bit Macs, whatever. 
Burger King, they serving the same thing. Doctors, they're serving. They're giving you a service. Uh, mechanics, they're serving. You have to put yourself in position to be able to serve other individuals. And that's where your wealth lies. When you serve other people. And not only that, but most importantly, it's God's vision. Because God wants you to be, it's not, it's called a purpose for a reason. It's not called a purpose for no reason. You have a purpose. You have a calling. You have a decree. It's a big difference, right? Your vision allows you to have what? Ambition. And ambition is good. Don't get me wrong. Ambition is good. But see, God's vision calls you to have conviction. There's a difference. Ambition is just this immediate need and sense of urgency to constantly, you know, uh, hustle and bustle, create, do whatever you got to do. And again, ambition is not bad. It's a good thing, but it's self-inflicted. But when you're talking about conviction, this means that I'm willing to die for what I'm doing. I'm willing to stand up for what I'm doing. I'm never going to give up. I'm willing to do the things that I need to do for others. I'm, I'm willing to put my i'm willing to put my purpose before anything else for the benefit of others there's a big difference so i want y'all to understand i want y'all to understand that right so check this out for your for your vision it only improves yourself your your self gratification your personal gratification your vision only improves your your personal gratification right but a vision of god what it does it uplifts those who are down what it does it inspires those who are low what it does it motivates the unmotivated there's a big difference right so you got to understand when you got the vision from god it benefits others but when you have a vision from yourself it's only benefiting your personal gratification Mm. Mm -mm -mm. understand what i'm saying y'all so i want y'all to understand the power of god's vision versus your vision right i want you to understand the power of god's vision versus your vision now here's the thing yes you will benefit once you operate in god's vision you're gonna benefit that's just that's part that's all part of it however mostly the people the people who's going to benefit from it the most are the people that you're helping you're going to be able to make a living you're going to be able to take care of your family you're going to be able to even thrive but when it comes to being motivated uplifted you know inspired aspire whatever the case is that that energy is being put out to help the others to help the people who are you know less fortunate to help the people who don't believe in themselves this this is a this is a big difference you know um especially when it comes to you giving yourself so you can help other people out man it's a big thing and i want y'all to understand see a lot of people don't know why most people visions don't make it or most people don't get to their dreams i'm gonna tell you exactly why see visions fail because you misuse your time visions fail because you misuse your time so if you got a podcast if you do videos you know if you got your clothing line if you got you know whatever the case is yes you can become extremely successful but if you don't manage your time which means you know play when it's time to play have fun when it's time to have fun work when it's time to work you know manage when it's time to manage guess what you're not going to be able to re- reach that goal you're not going to be able to get to that place you're trying to go why because you're misusing your time see most time visions fail because people misuse their time they don't know how to you know manage they don't know how to be conservative they don't know when it's time to play or when it's not time to play they just out here living they just out here willy-nilly they just out here doing their thing and that's the best way to fail right that's the best way to fail so i want y'all to understand this one thing man i need everybody to realize when god has a vision for your life when god has a purpose for your life it's not to only benefit you but it's mainly to benefit the other people it's other centered and it's going to help uplift motivate inspire inspire and put other people in a better position why because the wealth of the look check it out the uh the wealthy man is a man who serves all the wealthy man is a man who serves all. So, in order for you to reach true wealth, true wealth, 
you have to be able to serve everyone else to solve problems, right? So anybody who's been tuning into this podcast, y'all already know, man. I have a segment of where I show people one way to make a million dollars, and today gonna be real simple. But it's that it may just be that 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 nugget you need to get to the next level. So I want y'all to understand something. I probably touched on this before, but you know, people have been speaking to me about being more uh, creative, giving y'all more gems, and, and wanting me to touch back on this same thing. So I want to let y'all know, man, one way to make a million dollars is to utilize the laws of success. Nothing major, nothing too big, nothing crazy. Look, utilize the laws of success, right? So I want to get directly into it, man, and then then I'm going to let y'all get up out of here. But check this out, man. So number one, be fruitful. Create your product, create your service, right? Create a product, create your service. Number two. It's going to be real simple. I want y'all to stay with me. It's going to be real simple. Number two, multiply. What I mean by multiply is repeat the product. So whatever product you created, multiply that same product. That's it. Multiply that same product. Number three, replenish. Replenish. So in other words, build a system. You can't get rich from inventory. You can multiply the product all you want. You can print up all the books you want. You can, you know, uh, press up all the shirts you want, et cetera, et cetera. But if you don't have a system or no one to sell it to, then you're just another person with a whole bunch of product, but no customers or no clients, right? And last but not least, subdue. And I kind of touched on this earlier in the podcast. You got to subdue and see once you become successful in the in a particular industry or become successful doing this particular thing, you're going to you're going to automatically have dominion in this particular industry or, or, or dominion or whatever you're doing. Why? Because you've created a system. You created this. You, you, you've, you've created this uh, this product. You was fruitful. You multiplied it. You created this system. And now guess what? The, the law is for you to have dominion. You're going to subdue over the earth. You're going to subdue over any industry that you're in so once again man i need y'all to be fruitful create your product whether that's a shirt whether that's a book whether that's an electronic device whatever the case is create your product that you can sell that has value something that people need number two multiply that same product at that same level don't do it at this level and then the next few times you do it at this level and then this level no you got to be consistent and persistent at whatever product you putting up number one and then three replenish create that system create a system and keep putting it out create that system over and over again and keep putting it out and find your audience to get it out and last but not least man i need y'all to subdue in whatever you're doing if you cosmetology subdue right if you are author subdue if you're a rapper subdue any uh, any uh particular industry that you're in subdue over the market because you have it inside you you're great you got the things you got the tools you got whatever the characteristics you got the personality you got the the everything that you need all inside you the only thing that's stopping you is you so what i need for you to understand is is that god has a vision for your life you got plans for your life and you got a whole bunch that's in store for you on the other side you just got to get to it you already know what time it is, man. I need for y'all to keep a rich mentality. And guess what? I still have all the products, all the services, everything y'all need, man. So with that being said, y'all check out each one of my books, Fairly Unequal, uh, Rich Mentality, Traumatized by Love, and Eight Steps, Eight Steps to Self-Publishing a Successful Book, y'all. Keep a rich mentality. Peace.